Communicating with children. Effective communication is crucial when working with children and their families. Building a strong therapeutic alliance and rapport is a priority of care and becomes increasingly important in the face of progressive disease. Here are some of the recommendations for communicating with younger children. Studies suggest that children should be included in conversations about their diagnoses, treatment, prognoses, and end of life care. However, the timing and the manner of delivery of this information may need to be considered carefully. Discuss with the younger child's parents first, though it may be appropriate for older children to be involved in the initial discussions with their parents as well. Identify the parents' preferences when their child is included in conversations. Who will tell the child? Is it the clinician or the parents? And how much information will be discussed? Consider the age of the child when discussing these preferences with the patient. Be sure to carefully discuss with the parents any requests to withhold diagnostic or other significant information from the child. Beware that there may be ways in which the child may find out about this information via other means, for example, accidental disclosure from other clinicians or children. Note that withholding information may exacerbate the child's uncertainties and fears. It is important to explore the family's reasoning behind their requests, for example, cultural beliefs or past experiences with cancer. While it may be distressing for the child and the family, it is important to discuss facts about diagnoses, treatment, potential side effects, including the impact on appearance and functioning, and what the child and family can expect into the future. Young children find it much harder to understand or remember information. Consider repeating information and using alternative methods of communicating, for example, drawing. Medicalized language can be easily misunderstood by a child, so think carefully about your choice of words and provide age-appropriate information. Speak honestly and simply and avoid jargon. Pause frequently and allow time for questions. Do not make assumptions about the child's reactions. Instead, comment on what you see the child is doing. For example, I see you crying and explore the reasons for their response. Ask and try to understand the child's fears and concerns. Validate the child's feelings. For example, I can understand you'd be scared, but avoid false reassurance, such as you'll be fine. Avoid making promises to the child that you can't keep, as this can impair trust. Be honest if you are unsure of something. For example, say something like, I'm sorry that I don't know exactly how the treatment will make you feel. Together, these strategies can help clinicians to have a more in-depth rapport with children and their families when communicating difficult news.